those unmanned aerial vehicles or drones are everywhere these days. Yes, Brian Morin shows us the hazards of drone use. He's watching out for you. More and more contractors are using drones at work, but if someone uses one at your home or business and something goes wrong, you could be held liable. David Bowden has been inspecting homes and buildings with his lightweight drone for more than a year. It helps him get a great view of rooftops he might not otherwise have, but the FAA recently grounded his craft because businesses can't fly them without a special exemption. Many of them think as long as they're not charging you for actually using the drone that they're allowed to do it without proper authorization from the FAA, but that's not the case. If someone's going to use one on your property, be sure to ask for their authorization and exemption from the FAA. I want to find out what it's going to take to operate legally. I don't want to operate outside of the law. I want to be 100% good and be able to sleep at night and not worry about odd letters coming to me out of the blue. Bowden plans to file for his exemption, but the approval process could take up to four months. I think their one size fits all isn't working and it's really going to hold back something that could help people. Many other inspectors, aerial photographers, and real estate agents are using the new technology, some legally, some not. The legal ones are happy to see the FAA cracking down. I think the best part about it is that it forces an operator to think through all of the things that they really need to be doing to operate safely. Safety is the FAA's only concern, but homeowners should also be concerned about liability in case the drone crashes through a window or worse yet, falls on a person. I think there's some notion among some folks that, that just because it's an unmanned system that, that there's no danger involved and, and that because I'm not a pilot that's flying in my aircraft, I can't be hurt and quite to the contrary. Angie says you should ask any contractor to see their insurance and ask if it's specific for drone use.